your Channel 3 Mets Advantage forecast. Well, this was the snow squall that began to push the area just shortly after 10 o'clock this morning. It began to start in the Champlain Valley, pushed east through the mountains, and now it's starting to make its arrival into the Northeast Kingdom. Again, not in a snow squall status anymore, but making to make its, excuse me, beginning to make its arrival into the Northeast Kingdom. We've still some heavier snow shower activity. I wanted to show you, though, off to our west. This is a clipper system that's going to begin to make its arrival here as we head towards late this afternoon and this evening. Embedded with in this, we could see a few more snow squalls here as we head about towards the about your evening commute here through the course of the night tonight. Here's a look at satellite radar right now. Again, still got that snow squall pushing eastward here into the Northeast Kingdom. Elsewhere, though, generally talking about a few mountain snow showers, but also a few breaks of sunshine out there. We're starting to see a few breaks of sunshine here in the Champlain Valley, 36 degrees. Winds out of the south between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Pressure sitting at 29.54 inches and hanging steady. Temperature out there. Most of us starting off our th th excuse me, Wednesday afternoon with temperatures in the 30s and 40s out there. And here's how the rest of the day shapes up again. We are going to see a little bit more snowfall, especially as we head towards late this afternoon and through the course of the evening hours tonight. Again, it's going to be the mountains that are the big winners. Places like the Adirondacks as well as the Green Mountains could pick up an additional two to four with locally higher amounts, especially in the Adirondacks. Elsewhere away from the mountains, we could still pick up a little bit of minor accumulation here as we head through the course of the night tonight. In the broader Champlain Valley area, we're generally only talking about an additional trace up to an inch. In terms of for, in terms of your forecast here through the rest of the day today, here's how we shape up. Daytime highs actually going to be fairly mild, climbing back into the 40s for a lot of us, upper 30s and lower 40s. But then as we head towards tonight, we actually begin to lose a lot of ground out there as overnight lows fall back into the teens and 20s. Snow showers overhead and then a look at your forecast of the day tomorrow again we'll start off the day with a little bit of mountain snow shower activity temperatures really not rebounding all that much most of us going to be talking about daytime highs generally stuck in the upper 20s as well as the lower 30s so here's how it shapes up on futurecast over the next several hours again through the bulk of the early afternoon hours i think we're going to see a little bit of that dry time out there then as we head towards late this evening by about four five six o'clock this clipper system begins to make its arrival in bed within that a few snow squalls snow showers become increasingly more confined to the mountains here as we head towards your day tomorrow maybe even picking up a little bit of sunshine as we head towards tomorrow afternoon as well as tomorrow evening then i think we have really nothing but full sunshine here as we head towards friday morning now I'll look at that seven day forecast again be on the lookout for a few snow squalls this evening that could potentially have an impact here on your evening commute. A few leftover mountain snow showers here as we head towards your day tomorrow. Temperatures cooler tomorrow. Only stuck daytime highs in the 20s and 30s out there. A little bit of sunshine for the day on Friday. Then we'll keep an eye on this coastal system here as we head towards this weekend, especially the first half of the weekend for the day on Saturday. Right now, it seems safe to say the best chance of seeing measurable as well as heaviest and steadiest snow will be across the far our southern portions of the area. We dry things out for the second half of the weekend. More sunshine and looking a tad warmer here as we head towards the start of next week with temperatures back into the upper 40s by Tuesday.